Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustard, and today we are here with another main association of mathletics problem from December 2013. Meet 3, round 2, exponents and radicals, problem 3. What does square root 6 plus square root 6 plus square root 6 plus square root 6 plus 2 infinity equal? The reason I picked this problem is because a lot of the problems in this section are usually done in Algebra 2 trig, and they're pretty, like, basic, standard problems. So I decided to do this problem because I don't think this is a problem that they teach in school. So, what does this equal? Well, what you have to realize is that this is an expression that we're trying to solve the value for. So, in, in, there's no equal sign, but you have to make it an equation, which is why we say x equals square root 6 plus square root 6 plus square root 6 plus dot dot dot. And we just want to simplify things. We just want to see where things go. So first, square both sides. x squared equals 6 plus square root 6 plus square root 6 plus to infinity. Then if we subtract 6, we notice that x squared minus 6 is the same thing as we had above. So this is the same as this. So we say x squared minus 6 equals x. And then we subtract both sides by x. x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Factor x minus 3, x plus 2 equals 0. And then we solve x equals 3 or x equals negative 2. Because above here, whenever you see a square root and there's no negative sign, that means it's positive. It's the principal square root. So here, it's positive. So that means we take the positive solution, x equals 3. And then we're done. So hopefully you can follow this kind of logic. But you have to notice this step first. You have to notice x equals square root 6. You have to notice that you need to get an equation. Because otherwise you'll just be stuck. You can't do anything with just this expression. I don't know how to simplify this. How, how does that simplify down to 3. The only way I know how to do this is by solving x in an equation. So that, that's really the trick to this problem. You have to set it equal to x. Yeah, there are, are probably a few other problems that where setting things equal to x helps. But yeah, I just thought that this was an interesting problem. It's called a nested radical. And this is a fairly easy, easy nested radical because it's just 6 and then 6 and then 6. But there are harder nested ra radicals, which I won't get into. But basically, this is just one of the easier ones that you can solve just by squaring and then subtracting something. And then you get a quadratic. So yeah, I hope that this was an easy problem for you that you'll be able to solve on a mammal meet now, now that you've seen the solution. And have fun doing your math.